Did you all know that I'm a redhead? See? You see? It's true. I also like to draw, and I'm told that any time I would draw anybody as a kid, I would always make them redheads. You see, I had some sort of fascination with other people like me, because up until Harry Potter came out and released a redhead into popular culture, you didn't really see too many of us. With the exception of my prepubescent crush. Well, a 90s kid didn't have a crush on her. So I was thinking about it the other day, and there are quite a few of us redheads in anime. Here are my favorites. Number 5. I'll be totally honest with you, at the time of making this, I've only seen up through episode 14 of Fruits Basket. So there's a possibility that as I continue the series, this character may fall off the list. But hey, that's the thing about doing countdowns, they can change over time. However, that doesn't change the fact this character came into the series strong. If you don't know much about Fruits Basket, and let's be honest, most of you out there have at least heard the basic premise, it follows an orphaned teenage girl named Toru Honda as she's taken in by the members of the Soma family. Through hijinks and shenanigans, she comes across their family secret, their curse to transform into animals of the Chinese Zodiac when extremely stressed or hugged by a member of the opposite sex. Kyo is the cat, and therefore fits the outcast role, seeing as how the cat wasn't accepted into the Zodiac. And as stupid as this may sound, he reminds me a lot of how I used to be in my latter years of high school. He keeps things to himself, isn't great with people, and is a bit quick to get angry. But we see more and more of him as Toru gradually gets him to open up to her, and as far as I've seen, he's one of my favorite guys in the show. That could also have something to do with the fact that he's given plenty of humorous moments, but he's also a character you can sympathize with. He's always doing his best, but always seems to fall short in everything. Keep trying, Kyo. You'll beat that damn rat one day. Number four. Braving countless enemies, protecting the world of man with his life, the brave hero rushes to Dark Fortress, ready to slay the demon. King? The... The king has boobs! The Demon King from Mal Yu is one of those really nice characters, and no, I'm not just talking about her breasts, so shut up. She's the newest ruler of the demon world, a realm constantly at war with the human world, with neither side benefiting. It's her hope to secretly form a pact with the human world's hero, named Hero, and help find new agricultural and economical ways to better both worlds in the hope that one day peace and prosperity can be shared with both lands. She's an upbeat, highly intelligent character who really does well keeping both her strong and noble side, but allowing the audience to see her kind-heartedness and her romantic interaction with the hero. She's almost the exact opposite of what you'd expect from a Demon King, but that only helps to show that this split world isn't as black and white as it seems. Number 3. If you thought I could make a list of my top 5 favorite anime redheads and not include Tengen Topa Guren Lagan's Yoko somewhere, well, you'd be close. I almost didn't put her on the list, the sole reason being that she's become so much of an iconic image of fan service that I kind of forgot she had any character. But I went through and rewatched Gurren Lagan, and while the show itself doesn't do much to stray from making her most prominent features her most prominent features, I saw a decent character arc that spans over the entirety of the show. I won't go into spoiler territory here, but it didn't hit me at first how much growth she must have had in order to become the smiley schoolteacher we see in the second half of the series. With the most tragic moment of the show leaving likely the most tragic impact on her, Yoko's one strong, fiery sniper who can always find a way to overcome her problems, whether they be physical or emotional. Number 2 This girl's gonna be very difficult for me to talk about because of my absolute love for Toradora making me loathe to give any spoilers whatsoever. To start, Toradora is about two high schoolers, Ryuji and Taiga who both have a crazy crush on each other's friend, Minori being Ryuji's crush. She seems like a really fun girl, though maybe a little too spunky. While watching the show, you begin to suspect one of two things. That Minori is batshit crazy and needs to be committed somewhere likely heavily guarded by Dementors, or she's covering up some very, very, very big inner demons. And while I don't want to spoil any part of this amazing emotional roller coaster of a story, I'll just say that this strong girl has an entire level of hell hiding deep down inside of her that she has to fight. And if I could, I'd give her a hug. Number one. <laughs> Yeah, 
You thought I was gonna have a girl for my number one slot, didn't you? Well, when I started making this list, so did I. But there's no doubt about it, in almost every way, Gene Starwin from Outlaw Star is the definitive champion of anime redheads. At least to me and my friends, he's as iconic as Vash the Stampede when it comes to anime we watched growing up. Gene is a bounty hunter who does small jobs on the side with his partner Jim Hawking. After getting involved with the deadly, and totally hot, outlaw Hot Ice Hilda, Gene eventually finds himself the pilot of the most advanced and sought-after ship in the galaxy. Naming it the Outlaw Star, Gene leads his ragtag gang of outlaws on exciting missions and dangerous quests for riches. He fights space pirates and other outlaws with his trusty caster gun, which is hands down one of the most badass weapons I've ever seen in an anime. No, I haven't watched Bleach, and as of right now, it's pretty low on my list. With his fun character, his many awesome skills, and his downright god-given luck, Gene Starwin easily tops this list of my top five favorite anime redheads. Well, that's my list. It's been really fun because I got to take a look back at these characters and their respective shows, some of which I haven't seen for quite a while, and I got to analyze them and it helped me get a deeper appreciation for some of the characters. So all I can say is expect more lists like this. This was a lot of fun to do and put together, so I'm definitely going to have more of these in the near future. If you liked this video, it'd be a great help if you could spread it like the plague. And give me a like, maybe a comment, telling me what list you would like to see in the future, because I'm always looking for some suggestions from people who watch my videos. I've also got a Facebook and a Twitter, both of which you can find the links of in the description. So, if you want to go follow me there, that's where I do most of my networking and all that involving this YouTube channel. So, head on over there if you want to keep up. I look forward to seeing you. And, until next time, peace out.